welcome back, everyone. Um, we're working with the puppies today, and I got special help with me. We got Mrs. Brielle, or I should say Miss Brielle. Um, she's gonna be handling Randall and maybe uh, Ruby. What we're doing is uh, just kind of introducing some ball, uh, play with them, trying to build a little bit of um, tenacity towards that ball and focus on that object. Um, back pressure matters a lot, so we're gonna see how strong Brielle is today. You ready? Yeah. All right there, stop right there. Good. So we want him really dragging and inching forward. Let him inch forward a little bit. This is our boy Randall. Good. So drag in, inch forward slow. Good. Stop. Yeah. Good man. Good. So they're still going up through the teething phase right now. Good man. Woo! Yeah. If he lets it go. Lost opportunity. Drag in. Stop. Don't let him slay because he's barely reaching. Right, right here's perfect. Good, okay, stop. Good. Good, man. So I'm not tugging a bunch because they're still teething. Yeah, my buddy. Good, man. All right, pretty good job there handling B. Um, so what we did, we actually put Randall into one of those crates right there, and we're gonna bring out Henrietta. Oh God. Um, and we're gonna try and use a little bit of social competition um, and let him also see how valuable uh, Henry thinks that that ball is. Um, and if she doesn't think it's that valuable, we're gonna put her in a crate and bring Randall back out and kind of play them off of each other. One of the benefits to having litter mates uh, here or puppies around the same age is we can tap into a little bit of social competition. Um, we're trying to build up enough tenacity um, and kind of value to a ball right now because that's going to be one of the training reinforcers that we use as these dogs age uh, when we get into teaching them some more hunting type behaviors um, as well as just an overall reinforcer. So we're going to grab Henrietta. She'll be out next. All right, Henry is out in the potty yard. Brielle's going to go grab her and we're going to do the same thing with her. Um, again, just trying to build a little bit of, you know, tenacity behind the, the drive that they have for these toys. Right, B? Sure. All right, let's go do it. All right, we're back. <laughs> She's actually not that bad. Right, we're gonna bring her up to right about here. Remember, we got Randall uh, in there. He's watching. We're gonna do the same thing. Ah, now you hear what? Good. Inch forward. Stop. Yes, ma'am. Good. Good. So same thing with her. Walk over this way. Again. We're not. Tugging with her a ton because she's teething a bit. Yeah. Good man. Good. Pops up. She lost the goods. Good. Inch forward. Inch forward. Stop. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Good girl. That's a good girl. There we go. It's a quick ball session, and that's kind of all we'll do today. Uh, regarding this, yeah, you can uh, run it around me. Awesome. Keep her moving. She puts that down and take it away from her. So that's all we're going to do today um, as far as this little ball game goes here. Um, we let Randall realize that he's the loser today, and he has to watch in the crate while Henry has all the fun. Um, and we'll try them again shortly. Again, this is all about just building kind of ownership towards that, that item, ownership towards that toy, really wanting them to, to really build up kind of a sense of urgency overseeing that toy there. Um, all right, thanks for tuning in.